So welcome back, Nina, Thank you. to our, our next session. So tell me a little bit, so with this, this judgment thing that we were talking about a few weeks ago, um, mm -hmm. what, what's been going on the past few weeks? What's come to your mind? What would be useful to share with me? Um, I don't, it hasn't, I don't, I don't, I've, I've, I've trying to, you know, obviously be more conscious about it, but I don't notice it unwillingly just, just coming up. But what I noticed today, I'm not sure if that's related at all, but, um, so um, I, I think, well, I, I am the youngest member in the leadership team. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, because I always dress, dress quite casually that like, um, sometimes I need to like tell people, which I find really awkward. Yeah. So I had a vendor conversation today where they were like, is no one else joining us? And I was like, no. And then they were like, well, okay, so when you then tell the leadership team about this proposal, and they oh. said that several times, and I was like, I need to say something here because um, I thought I made it very clear, I'm holding the budget, this is my project, and I'm leading this, and I don't need to ask anyone for permission. And yeah, you are, the, you are the decision maker. Yeah, and... Um, that I don't think they understood that. Wow. So like, I, I had to actually say, so anyone that you saw in the room when I was holding the leadership offside, I was leading that. It was not that I was asked to like, just organize the room. Yeah, you weren't an admin that happened to be there. Exactly. But I guess that could come across as that because everyone is a lot older and most of them are men you know i cannot just i don't know i don't know that's all assumptions of course but it just made the situation a little bit awkward because they were like oh i'm sorry we didn't realize and i was like wow that's that's totally fine you know um but it just i just appreciate it more you don't keep saying when you present it to your leadership team, can you say this or can you say that? And I'm like, but I'm not going to do that. Mm. So I'm curious because that's kind of, you know, judgment on their part yeah. about you. What does that even say to you about that behavior that you have of, of judging others sometimes? Well, I know that it happens mm. and I'm not, cross with anyone about it at all and um i don't know like my my uncle he is the ceo of an insurance company back home and he he always had this philosophy to rather be underestimated first and do not show your title or what you can do through your clothes and status symbols but rather through the work life you do so that people you know make judgment through your doing or the value that you provide rather than, you know, making it clear when you come into the room and showing your business card and say, excuse me, I'm boss. Right. Or something like okay. that. Does yeah. that, that's your uncle's belief. Does that fit for you as well? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Because ultimately it's, we're just all, people right and if i don't have anything i can bring to the table well then i'm useless in the conversation regardless of the the, the title that mm. i was given through some application post yeah and i'm curious once you you know just kind of set the record straight that you are the decision maker here did they change their tune a little bit <laughs> what's the other side of that yeah, I guess, I guess that's, that's, so, that's okay too. But it, yeah, I didn't like, you know, I, I, for me personally, I didn't feel the need to make it that 
clear upfront. Although I said to them, you know, I'm holding the budget. This is this is the training that I'm organizing. Um, yeah, I guess it's just more expectation that at some point some other boss needs to sign this off. Yeah, understandable. I had the same situation yesterday, where um, <laughs> I reached out to someone same similar situation and they kept ref in the email saying where I sent them an invite can you please let Dion know I'm late and I'm like but we have a meeting right he thought he had a meeting with my boss and I was organizing it right ah interesting I like I had to say it on the phone when we were talking he was like is Dion joining us <laughs> no <laughs> wow <laughs> it's so been I guess, yeah, in our organization, everything is, you know, needs to go to the big boss at some point. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's just something that I know. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I understand that, but I also, do, I don't want to just make it... I don't know. I just don't want to play that game. Yeah. yeah. So that, um, that that's your people not ultimately okay. That's how it goes off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, what we were had been talking about last week is is your judgment, your impatience, your expectations of others, and you said that that hasn't really been coming up, but it's interesting that it's coming up the other way. Mm. that it's people's expectations and their judgments of you. So is that still a relevant pattern to be looking at this week? Yes, because I'm fully, I, I assume it, it'll, it'll come about again in a different yeah, Exactly. Okay. So what I would like to do today is, is just a simple clearing of that pattern of being able to figure out where that, that part of you comes from where that pattern comes from that, that does that judgment, that holds that expectations, that gets impatient with people. Mm. So if we were able to loosen that or, or clear that today, how would you know we've been, we've been successful? Well, I think it would ultimately just my level of expectations that I have towards people would be lowered. Okay. Yeah. So if you, I, I know it's kind of a strange thing to put on a scale, but if there was a scale of expectations with people at work or other times that you've had those expectations, where would you say it is now and where would you like to, to test it to this evening? If that's relevant, yeah. Well, I think it's a it's a bit tricky to measure by now because I that feeling comes up in a situation. Yeah. But I think I would just yeah, in that sit when the situation comes up again, I just would feel more at ease and I don't need to have that self talk. That's it. Okay. Okay. So we could even you know imagine perhaps a, a future situation or a recent situation kind of thing. Where inside would you feel being at ease? Ooh, I think there's, yeah, the, oh, good question. Where do I normally feel it when I'm not at ease? Yeah, I think it's my stomach. Stomach? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And as you just did a check in there, what is it that you feel when you're not at ease. I can't fully, I, I don't feel like I have the time to fully listen to someone. Okay. Okay. Is that that impatience part? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. more like if I had maybe this much space for information, if I would put it in a box mm -hmm. and if I'm at ease, I have. Nice. Okay. 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 Hard to show you. I can see it. It's outside the scale. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And what resources, attitudes, attributes, skills, behaviors do you think that we need to build in today? Patience, probably one of them. Yeah. Um, patience and I, so this is how I judge myself when mm -hmm. I feel I am not allowing a person to be how they are or where they are in their journey. And that to me, I sometimes label it as lack of kindness. Ah, okay. But that makes me then very sad because I'm like, um, <laughs> okay. Um, to me, that's like on my daily intentions day every right. day. But that's but great I, to be aware of. To come across as unkind. As, yeah. yeah. I think that's amazing to be aware of because if that's kind of one of your, you know, core ways that you want to be, that when you are being that impatient and judgmental and have those expectations, you're being unkind. I think that's a great thing to be aware of because then it'll connect even stronger when you're not being kind. Okay. So kindness, anything else, anything that you've already got that we need to tap into? Well, I mean, anything else? <clears throat> Well, what I got is just like my positivity. Yeah, I definitely. Oodles of that opportunity. I you know. Yeah, I can, okay. I can, I can understand and relate to the negative side of things, but for me, I just I see the other side much clearer. Okay. Okay. Where and when is this going to be useful? Well, I just moved in with my partner, so it's going to be very useful to not oh. not have any expectations. I think that's very important. Always. At least to hold on to it lightly. Mm, yeah. Yep. And okay. um, yeah, at work and also with my friends. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And is there anything else that you're going to have that that this you know in your that in your more stomach, anything else you'll feel or see or hear when you have just this ability to be in those situations with ease? Yeah, it, like I feel like that, like I, I'm much more grounded to just to sit. Um, yeah, I think it's also like my face muscles. Oh, okay. So when I meditate, I know that this, this part is like very, feels very open. Nice. Okay. So your forehead will be open. Your face will be open. Okay. Very good. Very yeah. good. And for what purpose do you even want to be more at ease? Mm. Very high purpose. We have, I have limited time on this planet. So I want to make the most out of it and be the best person that I can be. Absolutely. And is this, this change of being able to, to loosen, to clear that judgment, is it going to be useful for you, ecological for, for your world and your life? Okay. Yeah. So let's just check in. So by the end of today's session, we'll be working with this pattern of, of judgment and we're going to loosen, shift it, clear it. And you'll know when we've done that because you'll feel more of this ease in your stomach, more of that expansiveness. And we'll also be able to test that groundedness and also your facial muscles just more relaxed when, when we think about some situations past, present, and future. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what I'd like to do with you today is just a simple process utilizing your timeline to be able to clear this pattern because most of our patterns come from somewhere. And a lot of this stuff, and I don't know where your pattern will come from, but a, a lot of times I meet people in there, the patterns that they have started when they were really, really young, like within that imprint period between zero and seven kind of thing. Not to blame the people around us by any means, but we're, we're learning, we're modeling from the people around us. Uh, sometimes these things happen a little later when we're modeling people about how to be in the world. 
and I've met some people whose patterns they bring into this world with them from, you know, DNA and genealogy and other, other aspects that we bring into this current world. So we're going to use your timeline this evening. And just like history has a timeline, you've got one too. Marks out your past, your present, and your future. And we're going to go on a search for where the pattern of that judgment with the, the expectations and the impatience where it began. And we're going to do some fun stuff in there and release it and clear it. There's nothing that you need to know. I've got a process to just guide you to wherever we need to go in your history. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to just let your unconscious mind play. Mm -hmm. Sound all right? Sounds good. Okay, very good. Go ahead and close your eyes for me. Take a breath for me. And I want you to imagine your timeline. Just like history has a timeline, you've got one too. And imagine that. And allow yourself to tap into this pattern. Tap into this pattern of judgment. Even allow yourself to feel that, that feeling in your stomach where things are tighter, where there's the energy's more compact. It's up there. Okay. And we're going to do this a little bit differently, perhaps, than what you know. We're going to use a, a more uh, different kind of, of technique to get back to that root cause. But I'd like you to put all your thoughts and concentration in that feeling that's in your chest. Put all your thoughts and awareness into that feeling. And allow that feeling to start to guide you back pulling you back to where we can explore it at younger and younger moments without the need to know when we are going or where we are going. We just know why we're going is to clear this, to find the root cause. So allow it to just guide you into the past. And when you land somewhere, wherever you land, whatever you see or don't see is perfect. And we'll test it in a little while. And my guess is that well, we might have to hop back a few times into your history. But tell me what emotions you notice here. Let your mind land somewhere. And share with me what emotions you notice. What do you notice? What's going on? I notice that it, like, it feels very, very tight here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And up here as well. Okay. And let your unconscious mind just bathe this space wherever we're at in just a light of healing. Whatever that might mean to you. And then allow that feeling again just to guide you back into your history. Guiding you back to a younger time where we can explore it. Moving towards the root cause, the first event of this pattern. And when you land in that next space that we can explore a little bit more, tell me what you notice there. Do you notice? It just seems like just seems dark, mm -hmm. and I, I can also feel it up here in my face. Mm -hmm. And even without needing to know anything other than it's dark, and you can feel that feeling in your face, allow your unconscious mind to go into this event and begin to store any understandings and learning even without the need to know what or when or why. And then just as easily allow your unconscious mind to go right into that event again and let it, let it guide you even further into the past. And tell me what emotions you notice there. What 
integrales. I notice more that it's kind of so this feeling is cre just creeping up, and I can wow. also feel it in my throat. Wow. Okay. And notice that it's a heaviness. Okay. Notice that heaviness. Notice as it creeps up into your face, into your throat. And once again, allow your unconscious mind to store any learnings and understandings here. Even without the need to know what those learnings are. But I'm curious, even just utilizing your intuitiveness, what feelings or what knowledge would you rather have had at this time? What would have felt better? What would have felt better? Then the, then the tightness feeling. Mm -hmm. To just, yeah, I guess feel open here. Mm. And I wonder, can you give your, your younger self, your other self permission to feel that openness there? Yeah. Yeah. And then with that openness, drop your thoughts and awareness into that openness. And let yourself, let that guide you back even further on your timeline. Even past your birth, past the womb, into a space of, of nothingness. A time before time. And allow your unconscious mind to drop a question into this soul space, whatever that might mean. Even if you're, even if you don't know what the question is, and then just allow yourself to be for a moment. Free, peaceful, patient. And in this space, bring in even more patience the ability to just be, to sit, and invite kindness, that same kindness that you want to enter the world with. And open up to possibilities. And feel that expansion in your chest. When all this is going on, I'm curious, is there room for judgment here? Is there room for judgment? Mm -hmm. Once again, allow your unconscious mind to store any learnings and understanding. And then slowly start to come towards now, through the womb, through birth, through your childhood, through those other events. And as we come through them, start to notice how they've shifted, how they've changed, how they're lighter. Allowing your unconscious mind to update all of your experiences and beliefs and patterns in light of having learned and experienced this today. Trusting your unconscious mind knows how to do that. Storing all the learning in that special place that if you need it in the future, it'll be right there. And bringing to the forefront of your unconscious awareness, patience, kindness, and possibility. updating all those experiences between then and now. And when you get back to now, just let me know. Keep your eyes closed for a moment, but let me know. Back to now. Mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. And I want you to float to an unspecified time in the near future, which if had happened in the past, you would have had those expectations, those judgments, and that impatience. What do you imagine happens instead? I'm just happy that the, whoever person that is is there. Yeah. Wonderful. And once again, let your unconscious mind still any learnings and then just come back into the room and open your eyes. Nice job. Yeah. Nice job. So as you even think about, you know, in the past week or a couple weeks at work where, you know, somebody hasn't lived up to your expectations, and you were a bit judgy with them. Go back and even think about the, some of those experiences or, or anything in the past month that, you, that comes to mind. And tell me how is it different as you think about it now? Well, what, what I just, what just came to mind is that my boss Dion judges very quickly. Mm. And then, so you really have to, so in a positive way, and then he wants to do something really quickly, or he's like, nah, I don't, I don't trust that. So you have, so, and I, what I'm sometimes afraid of is that I could match that behavior or take it on because I can Quite often. Uh, and as you contemplate that now, what do you notice? Well, it's not, it, 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 this is, you know, I, I accept that in him. It's just a, that's his character. It's not my character. That's right. It's, what I'm just conscious about is that there are loads of people around me, I guess, who judge all the time and to not take that on, mm. you know? Yeah. It's in, you know, I guess in order to be part of groups of people, like I take on certain things because, of, you know, it's also awesome. you have You have taken on certain things. Yeah. What will you do from here on? I, I like, I, like the, m my idea is that I'm gonna be able to even make an unconscious choice to just like they are them, and me and I don't, I don't want to take that on. Yeah, no. absolutely, absolutely. Free of judgment. Yeah, free of judgment. So imagine even a, a time that, you know, at, in the workplace or, or anywhere else, that if it did happen in the future, you would be, you know, more patient, more kind without that judgy. Yeah. What changes? What internally and externally changes? I would say that when that really changes i have learned a lot more about myself which i can then relate better to others because wow. just, like lots of people don't touch all the time and i can relate to it but i don't have to be that way at the same time right right so it's more like that I can maybe, maybe it also fine tunes my ability to notice it mm. in people, mm -hmm. but without me taking it on. Wow. And if you could notice it in other people, but not take it on, what would you believe about that? I, I believe about that. 
it makes me um, it makes me it, it 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 would help me to i guess control and adapt to the situation better mm -hmm. they judge and they, they decrease their space to this i can still hold mine ah interesting yeah. and because then what happens guess, to the judgment it, it, yeah, I guess maybe the judgment on the other side is still there, but if I can hold my space, it doesn't affect me. Wow. And then what behaviors do you exhibit instead? No, I guess, I guess, yeah, what's the opposite of no expectation? Just, yeah, I guess more towards that taking the moment or the person or the situation as it at face value neutral wow. wow and what will that mean to you to me that will be amazing yeah yeah um, absolutely it's a nice smile that goes is, with that too yeah if you, any i guess any any of that just Grounds will help me be more grounded and, yeah, grounded, patient, kind, and, yeah, at ease. At ease. There you go. So we even started this session saying that we would be clearing that pattern or loosening that pattern about judgment. Do you think we loosened it or cleared it? Hmm. Is it a time will tell thing? Yeah, I think I would have to stress test it. Yeah. A little bit more, okay. but I found it very interesting that, yeah, I can feel it more and more in my face because mm -hmm. I, um, like a few weeks ago on one of the, um, uh, the, the, the online um, training sessions mm -hmm. that I joined, we, cleared something else and that was on this side in my face ah. I any feeling of, of of a patch like this and so wow. that, that we communicated with that was sitting here and that we loosened that so i've i have not noticed anything creeping up on this side ah. wow that's interesting that's interesting yeah if you do notice something creeping up on that side, what will you now be able to do about it? Well, I guess maybe I can connect it more with judgment mm -hmm. and maybe then I can communicate with that symptom. Yeah. And see what it might try to tell me. Sorry, I'm getting loved. <laughs> so you, you mentioned that when we are able to, to loosen this pattern, you would feel more sorry more of a sense of ease and more of that openness and more grounded and your facial muscles will be lighter or, or less less something what are you noticing yeah i noticed that well done yeah well done yeah it's like after a good meditation yeah who needs botox <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So tell me a couple things you're going to take away from today. What I will take away. Mm -hmm. well, or, leave, or leave behind. Well, I am confident that this will bring me closer to take situations, people, people behavior just at face value yeah um which is very interesting because whenever i get a little bit impatient with my boss it's about this because he's lacking it so much that he just some so mm. mental sometimes 
or says things too quickly that I'm like, wait, we have like all they did was X, you know, and attaching or your experience from two years ago to something is not fair. Mm. Um, So, but what I really hope what I'm taking away here is that even if he keeps doing that, that I don't take that off. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it, you, like you said earlier, you know, your uncle's philosophy was, you know, people, people are on their merits, not what, and you know, what they know, not what their title is. And so just because he has that title doesn't necessarily mean that he knows better. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that is, that is very true. And I guess more like the, the title thing and that, because you have a title you should know better feel yeah it really comes from my granddad Mm. i think that's like yeah he was the elders and the title guy yeah yeah Yeah. where your uncle was more yeah based somebody on their merit yeah so it's, it's interesting that you've been kind of you know from what you said earlier you know wanting to live that philosophy of your uncle but taking on a lot of that from your grandfather Oh. Well, because he also has a lot of really good things to say, you know. Of course, of course. And I'm not sure. Maybe that is something that I would like to, as a coach, learn how I can consciously or unconsciously decide what I want to take on and learn from people, mm-hmm. because. You know, I've done like this Gallup strength test and I guess I also know that about myself that I I feel like I'm I'm learning every day and I I match things very easily from people. Mm. You know? So as soon as I see, I see or hear something or someone does something that I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. And I like, I try to really remember that and then I mull it over and then I try to mimic that, yeah? Mm-hmm. But it can also happen with negative behaviors. So I don't even like to listen to anyone making shitty jokes because, yeah, maybe it's funny in the moment, but I'm like, don't say that to me because it might come out on me. Yeah, and like, so that, that could be even another pattern that we can clear at some point in time or that you could write down for you to clear at some point in time is that pattern of, of, unconsciously taking on what you don't want kind of thing okay yeah 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 because like sometimes i feel like i'm still like that seven year old like sponge just like everything (laughs) i'll write that one down okay yeah and remind you of it at some point in time (laughs) i'll write it down in a second very good very good thank you very much thank Mm -hmm. you very much thank you i I look forward to seeing where it all goes from here yeah me too